Good morning, Botai. Uh, we all know that there's a mitzvah to eat three seudot on Shabbat. Two of them, according to the vast majority of the Rishonim, have to be held with bread. Otherwise, a person is not yet say the chova. Seudah shlishit, it's a mitzvah to have bread, not necessarily obligatory, that we know from Marana Shulchanoch, Tzvanosh, Tzadi Aleph. The question is, when a person's eating bread during the Shabbat meals, how much does he have to have in order to be yotze yedeh chova? It's a tremendous machloket rishonim. Uh, some rishonim, including Baal Alachot Gedolot, uh, Rabbeinu Yehuda al Barzaloni in his Sifra Aitim, and others, they hold that a person has to have a kabitza, at least a kabitza, per meal, in order to be yotze. That Manana Chida in Birke Yosef, in Siman Ritzah the Aleph, also holds like that la lacha, says you have to have a kabitza, and he's medayik, he infers that Marana Shulchan Aruch holds the same thing. Nevertheless, there are other Rishonim that say a person can be Yotzeh with less. A person doesn't have to have a Kabitza necessarily. A person can be Yotzeh even with a Kazait. Kabitza, sorry for not explaining. Kabitza is an eggs volume of approximately 54 grams. Kabitza is about half of that, an olives volume of about 27 grams. A person can be Yotzeh with that. And really, a person can be can make Birkat Amazon. Sometimes it's very helpful if a person is on a diet. Person wants to know, he wants to be Yotzeh the Mitzvah, but he wants to know exactly how much bread he needs to have because he doesn't want to have more carbs. Yeah, he can be Yotzeh the Chova, according to those poskim. And those poskim also say uh, that Maran holds like them. So Maran can be understood really both ways. La Lacha Maran Zechon Bercha writes in Chazon Abadiyah that it's preferable to have a Kabitza. Nevertheless, a person is Yotzeh the Chova with a Kazait as well. And you can even say Birkat Amazon for a Kazait. However, very important. This is a very important thing to remember by the Shabbat meals, is that in order to say Birkat Amazon for a kazait of bread, a person has to have a kazait, not only the amount, but it has to be eaten a specified amount of time, which is uh, during Toch Kedah Hilat Pras, which is, varies among the poskim. We hold La Lacha, it's approximately seven and a half minutes. If you did not eat your kazait within seven and a half minutes, you're no longer eligible for Birkat Amazon. Although there's a shita of the Prima Gadim, that if a person throughout the span of the meal eats a little bread here, a little bread there, it's all mitzdarif the kazai throughout the meal. We do not hold like that Prima Gadim. La Lacha needs to be eaten within one time span of Achilat Pras, which is seven and a half minutes. Happens a lot, the beginning of the meal, person makes a motzi, eats a little bit of bread, and then he goes for salads and dips and shmoos and whatever, and by the time he comes back, he eats a little bit more, and then he makes birkat amazon. According to many poskim, that'll be brachal avatala. Person should try, wherever possible, at the beginning of the meal, at least just to get his kazait down, eat the bread, it's not too much. Eat your kazait or kabetzah right in the beginning of the meal, and then eat whatever you want and shmooze whatever you want, so at least you'll be eligible for birkat amazon. Have a wonderful day.